All right, turn this on. <laughs> How's everyone doing? My name's Kurt, I'm a dad who draws, and this is our Monday afternoon live as we get together. Today I'm gonna to show you how to draw this beautiful picture of the Brooklyn Bridge. We're gonna take it one small step at a time, and I think you're gonna get it. It might look hard, but I think once I break it down step by step, you will feel very comfortable. So come on, let's get right into this right away. Hello, Mr. John. <laughs> John is here and Elena is here. You guys ready? All right, let's do this. So, all right, so I've, I'm working right now on my uh, sketchbook here. And first thing I'm going to do is uh, draw a containment or a, a framework where I'm going to draw this picture all within. So let's see here. Just start with a All right, just start with a square here. And I happen to be blue, using blue, not for any uh, any specific reason, just it was uh, a darker color that I had, okay? And I do use Crayola, not that they're a sponsor or anything, I just, they're inexpensive and they have a great lead. And it doesn't smear like pencil, but that's just, that's just my cup of tea, okay? All right, so you should get a framework, uh, something similar like this, all right? Whenever I go to draw a landscape or really anything, I always like to draw within some type of container. Now this, the size of this container, here's my hand. So you can, you can kind of give a, get an idea of, of how big that this, uh, this area is. Look, there's, there's an L of my hand. So this isn't a giant picture. I mean, we only have an hour to draw it. So if you draw a little bit smaller, you will make further progress. Here's another little tip too, is when, when it comes to perspective, sometimes it's a little bit easier to get your perspective right when you're working with something a little bit smaller. If you're gonna work with like a giant canvas or something, I'd probably use like a camera to, pro I would draw the picture small and then use a camera to project it big. But for our drawing tutorial today, we'll just, we'll just keep it small, all right? All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in this uh, horizon line. And if, as I look at my picture here, I could see that the horizon line is almost at the bottom third of the picture. So I'm just gonna lightly drop that in right there. And I am live, so if you have a question, don't hesitate to, uh, uh, to mention that, all right? To throw it out there. Okay, so we're gonna have our water, we're gonna have the edge of our water down here, all right? Let's go ahead and just put a guideline on the right-hand side here. And all I'm, this is gonna be about where the bottom, where the bottom of the bridge is going to start. And I'm, I'm really kind of looking at the negative space from the, from the bottom, the bottom of the bridge, which is gonna be right about here. I'm just gonna put a little mark there to about where the horizon line is. I'm, I'm kind of, looking at this distance, all right? Then if, this is the bottom of the bridge, okay? So let's let's come over here to this side here. And if I look at roughly where the bottom of the bridge is on this side, it's kind of following, following right about a halfway point. So it's, I'm halfway here, maybe, maybe a little bit higher than halfway. So I'm going to put a little mark right there. Now, because we're drawing like this bridge, that I usually don't like to use a uh, a ruler, but um, parts of this might be helpful just to get a real straight line. So, I'm just going to use the edge of another pencil here, and I'm just going to hold it down lightly. All right. I'm gonna put a little line to start to guide me. Okay, so roughly that's that's gonna be the bottom of my bridge. 
All right, let's, let's put a line to be the top of the bridge or the top of the roadway per se. If, if I'm looking at the photo here, it, it has these like, uh, these, it has these little marks like this. You see this? It has these marks on the sides of the bridge. You see those? Not those. Go go right below that. So where is that going to be? So if I if I'm over here, I'm going to go ahead and move up just a little bit more, just like this. And on this side, okay, it's going to be it's going to be right about there, maybe. All right, and I'm going to use the back of this book here. Instead, I didn't like that pencil. <laughs> it, it rolled. So we'll just put that in place here. We're going to just draw an, another light line just like this. Okay, so that's going to be the bottom. That's going to be the bottom of the bridge. And let's right now, very lightly, we're just going to tone this in. Just go, don't go too dark on me. Take your time and just get a nice light tone. We'll come back and add dark, a much more darker tone, but for right now, Let's just put this in. This will help us to visually visually see the bottom of the bridge. And we're just going to continue doing these just some guide marks. So this is the bottom. Let's get that let's get that railing. So that railing is I'm looking over here at the right hand side here. It's going to come up just a little bit here. Maybe even smaller than that. And then over here, it's going to be much larger. So it's going to be like this, maybe. And I've switched over instead of a book to use this piece of cardboard there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and and because it's it's on this it's on this size this side right there. Hey, Savage, how are you doing? This is where those in, this is where these interesting things are. So let's let's go ahead and put uh, break this down into even segments that are going back into perspective. So let's let's start right here. I'm going to keep that nice and light. And then over here, as I look at our photo here, um, it's kind of the other edge is off the page. So I'm just going to put a little mark just like this. Okay, so this is, let me show you a trick here. Let's just say, let's say we had a fence, okay? Let's say you had a fence. I'm going to slide this over for a second. Here is a post. Here's a post. And here's a post. Okay. And these, these fences, we want to make them even going back in perspective. So let me show you how to do that first as a sample over here. So let's say this is a horizon line. This right here is our vanishing point. All right. And so this right here will be the first post. All right, that's this guy right there. Then we decide, now this is gonna be random. Where do we put, this is a post A, 
post B, post C, okay? We're, let's just put post B anywhere we want. You don't have to be, this is the second post will be your choice. Now, based upon this now, we could we can actually use a trick in order to establish where post C is going to go, and you'll want to do this. So on post B here, find the center point. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be right about there. Go to the top of A and draw a straight line just like this. Where this diagonal hits this this line right there, this is where the next post goes. And so it, it puts this post in perspective. This is post C. Now let's say we had post D. All right, well, we do the same thing. We go to post C, find the halfway point, go to the top of B, straight line, and then this is post D. So if you had one more post, same thing, find the halfway point, and ultimately what is happening is you are putting all of these posts into perspective. Well, let's, we could use that same trick to get our, to get these, uh, get these sides in perspective on our bridge. So here's the top, here's the bottom. Let's just lightly, and I mean really lightly, just mark where the center is. And then from this corner, I'm gonna use this ruler. I'm gonna use my piece of cardboard here. And very lightly, I'm just gonna drop a line down to where it intersects right there. Okay, I'm gonna make a straight. Same thing, there's the, there's the top, find the halfway point. All right, same thing, halfway point. So take a minute and just do this to this bridge. One nice thing is if you get enough of these, soon we could switch over to total freehand, but we could get some key structural structural things in this bridge and it will help the rest of the freehanding look nice and sharp. All right. Give you a second there to get caught up. I'll give you two. I'll give you a minute here. We'll give you a full minute. <clears throat> In fact, while you while you're getting caught up, I'm gonna run downstairs and bring up a beverage. <laughs> I'll be right back.
All right. You ready? Ready to keep going here? All right. Looking at a bridge here, let's go ahead and get the most outer vertical. And I'm kind of like looking, starting here at the edge of my uh, picture here. And I'm gonna establish the vertical somewhere about here, I think. Looking, looking at my uh, <clears throat> proportion now from the top of the uh, railing here to the top of the page, this vertical is almost almost halfway you see that and then if I if I go from the top there down to the bridge here it's almost another exact length down to right about there you see this so this this amount is equal to this amount and I'm just I'm just visualizing this so I'm gonna grab my uh, piece of cardboard here. And very lightly, I'm just gonna draw a straight line. Okay, now I'm looking at this distance here. <clears throat> And I'm gonna to look to the far side of the uh, other, and it's right about here per se, and where's the top of it? It's, it's at a very severe angle. So I'm gonna be, I believe, right about there. That, that's, a good, that's a good angle to put it in. So once again, Get this piece of cardboard here. All right, so those are those are some nice guidelines I've got. All right, let's let's go ahead then, and I'm going to go ahead and and I think I'm going to work on the uh, darkness, and get the uh, negative space of this of this shape going in there, right? So let's see here now. All right, so I'm going to start off with an X here. I'm going to X these out so I can get the center of these. Watch, I'm going to put an X here. That will tell me about where the center is. All right, I'm gonna come over here, do the same thing maybe. I'm gonna leave a little bit of light right there. I'm just freehanding that. Okay, I'm gonna do it again over. I'm gonna do that in the next segment too. Draw an X lightly so I know where the center is. Doesn't have to be perfect. Draw an X. All 
Okay, I'm just going to make my way across here now. And I'm going to loosen. I'm not going to go as tight. I mean, I'm going to loosen up my drawing just a little bit. You know, the, the amount of of how loose you go in a drawing really is is up to you. I mean, there's you want to go tight enough that no one questions your skill as an artist. Yet, yet there's a some place between loose and hyper rendered. So where that lies, I don't know. For each person, it's... Uh, it's up to you to decide. Hey, while we're at it, while I'm talking here, do me a favor, please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're just checking us out for the first time. We have a live video every, uh, every Monday and a new video is uploaded uh, on Wednesdays. And we focus on uh, portrait drawing on Wednesdays. Okay, let's let's continue on here. All right, so I've kind of got this this little structure here in place. I'm going to go ahead and use my same method I just used a little bit earlier. I'm just going to put an X here and then an X over there. This is going to help me kind of estimate about where the center of that is. And from here on out, I'm going to go freehand, okay? The straight lines help to give me some guidance, but uh, I will go back to freehand now, and I think it will be a much better drawing. Okay, that, that big girder is going across there, right? And then... A lot of these are going to be silhouetted. So here's this, the edge here is going to have this little, little knob, right? I'm going to move right across. This, I'm going to add a little bit of tone to the top of this. We'll come back in and darken it a little bit later. This vertical is going to get some thickness. Thickness there as well. Okay, now this, this area right in here is divided, it looks like into four, one, two, three, four, maybe five segments. So we're gonna just go one, two, three, four, and five.
All right, I'm gonna darken in some of these so they're a little more sharper. And it looks like, all right, looks like we're crossways here. Creating this little pattern here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just close enough to give you the idea of what you're going for. Okay, now I'm looking closely at this cross section here. And I'm just gonna, I don't want it perfect. I just wanna darken in this silhouette here. And I'm looking at kind of at the edge. All right, let's get this other side over here. Just darkening in my values. I can see that there's an arch. And there's some other interesting silhouette shapes. Okay, let's come down now and get the base here. Okay. So Underneath, I could see I've got this round form, right? Like this. And then here, this is important, right here at the bottom. Okay, so if I if I look at the if I look at the top of this bridge, this is. I'm going to run this line here. This is going to go all the way down to the vanishing point. That's the that's the perspective of it. I'm going to slide this over. All right. So this is this is about where it's landing off my picture here. And if I come down here at the base, the the foundations of this bridge, this this right here would be about the front corner. Okay. I'm going to run a line here. So the front end of the first pillar is going to be right about here. And this is going to, looks like it's going to curve up. And then this guy over here is going to turn the corner and where this, this bridge, I'm going to just kind of estimate it. It's going to come in about, about like that. And I think I'm going to use uh, my cardboard here to get these uh, these straight, these verticals nice and square, nice and straight.
Okay, this is going to be really dark over here. This is going to be a little bit lighter. It's kind of picking up some reflective light. And then it's going to have these uh, struts, it looks like. Okay, let's let's jump to the other side now. So this using this using this mark right here, I can go to the top here and run a line here. And this tells me about where the other pylon is going to be underneath the bridge. You see that? Hey. Hey Edmund. How you doing, my friend? <laughs> How is St. Lucius today? I, I've seen all of your uh, videos of all the fruits you've been picking. <laughs> all right. This, this one. Uh, we get our next little... Uh, Pile on there, right? All right, we're going to come around here. We're going to follow this bottom line here again, right? Come on in now, let's fill the silhouette in. And then we're going to follow the, these lines that we just drew earlier. These are going to come across because they're all going to line up, you see. i got to sharpen my pencil here. Okay, coming along nicely. All right, so here's another thing. As I'm looking at our photo here, you'll want to be aware of this. Using the same vanishing point over here, there are struts underneath of our bridge. So if I was to go from right here I'm just going to come under here and use that that vanishing point there and just start to get some of these struts in place. All right, and as I look at the bridge now, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my I'm gonna turn my page this way so when I shade, it will go in the direction of my arm.
Now there are some uh, slits in these uh, road work here, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna kind of give a a sense about them and not worry about uh, making them perfectly accurate. When we drop those cables in, it's going to really sell this. So hang in there. All right. Here's our horizon line here. So I'm just going to kind of work my way across the horizon line adding a variety of buildings. I'm not worried if this is accurate. I'm just trying to get the idea down. Looks like there's another bridge over here. So I'm just Really what I'm doing is I'm just adding extra details things that I see and it looks like we have a dark silhouette of some land or something coming in here like this you see I don't know if there's infrastructure or what, but I'm just kind of I'm just kind of adding some interesting squiggles over here. Okay, you might come in after we're done and darken in some of these in shadowed areas a bit more. All right, let's go ahead and jump down here in the reflection now. Okay, what I want you to do is squint your eyes. And the first thing I want you to do is drop just a very light, a light tone in here. Look at this. If I squint my eyes, I start to see these dark shapes underneath here. So I'm just
This is really going to sell it that it's uh, in water here. <clears throat> you know, let me while we while you work on that a little bit, let me show you this other idea. Let's say if you ever have a surface, it doesn't have to be water. Let's say you had a surface that was uh, glassy or highly reflective. <clears throat> and let's say you had a uh, just a can, a can of beans on that surface. <clears throat> you know, what you want to do is when that, when it hits the surface down here, you want to jump over here at the edge and just do something like that. You see how I just, I started right here. I pushed down and I pulled down and that creates this sense of, re of reflection. Especially, especially if you do this, let me show you this. Let's say that wood was uh, brown in color or dark value. You see, you do something like that and it will, it will just by adding that reflection you can start to create a surface that looks very glossy or wet, all right? Now, if the surface is, is super flat and, and like glass, your reflections are going to be almost mirror-like. So if, if we had a, a label here, that label would show up here like this. So anyways, I just, if the surface is super glossy, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be very flat. If it starts to get choppy like water, that's when you're going to uh, get these, uh, these odd reflections, these reflections that get broken up. I'm going to come in here now and just kind of sharpen sharpen some of the waves that are closer to us. Edmund said he liked this way of uh, learning perspective. Yeah, it is. It's. I like to. I'm sure you find this too, Edmund. You know, when I draw a picture, I, I like to establish the picture, and then work out the perspective around it, versus oh, I'm going to start off with two vanishing points and then work my pers work my picture. I don't. If I am going to draw perspective, use perspective, this is the way I learn in school is that if you had a blank, if you had a blank sheet, you would say, okay, draw a horizon line, draw a vanishing point, draw a vanishing point. And then you would start to learn how to draw perspective using those vanishing points. I don't like to do it that way. I, I think this causes you to be a slave to the vanishing points, whereas... We'll come up here now. Whereas I'd rather have you like say, okay, here's my, I want this box to be here and I want the side to be over here. Okay, that's, that's not exactly right, but it is close to the box that I want. Now, now let me figure out my perspective and sharpen up my lines, you see? So this is where I really think that the drawing comes first and then you sharpen it up with perspective versus starting with perspective first. Do you see that? I hope you understand that. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got here. All right. We got some great looking clouds. Let's drop some clouds in before we drop these final uh, cables. Right. And I'm just 
I'm just going to think of this arrangement of small, small, medium, large. Small, small, medium, large. These, these cables that we're going to put in, these are like, these are like the highlights of an eye. You know, once you, once you put these in, it really says, it really says bridge. So, okay, let's do this. All right, let's start here. It's going to go through the top there and it's going to, I'm just kind of looking at my picture. It's going to drop down here. So I'm going to spin my picture a little bit so I have the right angle. Okay, next one, about there, and it's also gonna drop down here. Okay. Okay, so this one here is gonna come up here. And now this is this is pretty important now. This one's important. Look at look at the top corner of the page here and it's exiting way up high there this is going to help sell our perspective this is trust what you see not what you think okay so here we go okay next one where's the next one now next one's a little bit lower like this right about there okay so he's going to go right there Okay, next one's much lower, right, right about here per se, okay. And then the other one is really close, right about there. And where does that go? Okay, that's... And I'm, when I'm drawing these, I'm using the, I'm using my whole arm to go back and forth. Okay, so this is, from here to here, this is a small space, so I don't need to use a ruler. I can get away with just freehanding this. Okay, how is this up here? All right, so we're going to cable there. Okay, I'm going to... Just kind of work my way back. All right, another set of cables. And looks like there's another grouping cables in the back here. As I'm, as I'm, my pencil starts to get less and less sharp, so I, I'm slowly spinning it. Okay. Now, any final touches here? I think I'm going to sharpen in this top part right in here. And I think that's going to do it today. Well, I am glad that you're here and uh, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and, and leave a comment. And that would be awesome. Okay. Hey, my name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. And this has been our tutorial on drawing the Brooklyn Bridge.
Thanks for watching. Now go out there and make your day great. Talk to you later. Edmund and Savage John and Elena, thanks for the nice comments. See y'all later. Bye-bye.